Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Both Barrels. I am Burn. this is my father Curtis, and today we have a very sentimental bottle. A few years ago, I would say, when I was actually working and had an income source, one of my first jobs actually. Instead of just being full-time in college. Yeah, instead of just being in school full-time. I decided it would be really nice to buy something special for my father, and so I got this 12-year-old bottle of it's either Lagavulin or Lagavulin or Lagavulin. We're not I, sure. I like to say Lagavulin, but it's probably Lagavulin. Yeah, we'll yeah. call it Lagavulin. It's a very important bottle. It's also very difficult to get, isn't it? Yes. Uh, since you got this bottle, there ha I don't think there's been another bottle coming to the state of Iowa. Mm -hmm. Our good friend Jeff over at Vans in East Dubuque, he was able to get us a brand new bottle. Yes. This is one of my all-time favorite whiskeys. Smoky, peaty, incredible depth of flavor. People say they love this 16, and 16 is really spectacular, but this 12 is so much better in my opinion. There is so much more intensity in the flavor. Since we have another bottle, we're gonna we're, have a little bit. Because we're getting down to the very, very little bottom of the bottle and we were afraid we weren't going to have any so we've been saving it sparing it now this of course is an isley you definitely smell the salt or the uh sorry you definitely smell the smoke the smoke the peat and i think you do smell the, the salt uh the 2016 won i think uh golds from like 2005 to 2008 in san francisco and in 2016 i think the Bagavlin 16 won gold and again, a lot of people think that 16 is the best, and it's really good. I really think the 12 is the best. I like this because it may not be quite as smooth as 16, but it has just an amazing palate. It just bursts into flavor. Wow. Up front, it's like um, I get a lot of bell pepper. Oh yeah, it just it just jumps at you and it just holds your attention. It just fills. Your entire palate, all your, all your um, sinuses are just completely filled with that wonderful smoky peatiness. And uh, I really feel fortunate that we were able to get another bottle because, like I said, it's been years since we've been able to even find one. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Jeff, at Vans. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Vans. We definitely appreciate it. This is a very important bottle to both of us. If you ever get the chance to pick some up, you definitely should, but be in mind, it is pretty rare. It's also a little bit pricier than the 16, like you were saying. Uh, I think we paid 150 for it. Yeah, and I mean, even when you bought it several years ago, I think it was in the 110, 120 range. Yeah, it was not quite 150. I think it was about 100 when I yeah. paid for it. And um, yeah, just a few years, and like I said, you see the 8, you see the 16, you see a lot of the different ones around, but this one, is very hard to get in our neck of the woods. Now we have a second bottle. So we're not gonna open this bottle, of course. Not for a while. Until this one's gone. But we may not, we may open it because we may wanna save just a little bit of that bottle for sentimental reasons. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the design on this is slightly different actually from the other one. I'm sure that uh, there might be like tiny, tiny differences between these two. They're probably sure from there separate is. badges. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure there's differences. But um, I don't want to open it and find out right now. We'll wait. Is there anything else you would like to add? If uh, you uh, see the show, you happen to be over there in East Dubuque, stop by, say hi to Jeff, tell him you saw you get a goblin there. I think he got a case. So there's not going to last long, I'm sure, because people who know will flock to the store to get it, get this. I mean, they will. It may be gone already. It you may be gone know. already, yeah, because a lot of times you go over there and stuff is just like that it disappears even if it is gone it's still not a bad idea to stop by vans because they're good people they also have a lot of really impressive stuff some stuff that you can't get in iowa if you enjoyed watching this be sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment if you have any questions and share this video around if you enjoyed it thank you for watching